Woo! Boy, it's busy out there in the wasteland. Church here, and welcome to the Game Grinder. And today we're doing an unboxing video, and this time the Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition. And this thing is a monster. This is the largest collector's edition I now have. It's hard to even show. Literally can't even fit this on camera because it's so big. So I'm just going to set this beast to the side. So uh, this game itself, I'm sure many of you have probably already heard of it, kind of has its own fair share of controversy, being that it's not a follow-up to Fallout 4, it's not Fallout 5. This is kind of like a spin-off, offshoot game, more focused in the survival genre, kind of like games like Rust or Ark. That's an always online game with a multiplayer focused. And I did have my own concerns, but I did play some of the beta. I played it for a few hours and actually had a lot of fun. The story might not be as involved as we're used to, but it definitely does have story. Plenty of hollow tapes and notes left to kind of keep things going. So I'm actually looking forward to this. As long as I can get like 20, 30 hours or so, then I will be plenty satisfied and I don't think that will be an issue. And it'll be interesting to see what Bethesda does with this moving forward. So with that said, let's check out the collector's edition. So again, this thing is a beast, so it's kind of hard to show on camera here. Of course, we got the front. Uh, the power armor edition comes with a power armor helmet. Uh, you know, kind of basic designs on the, the side. On the back, shows you what it comes with. Top, the 51B is the power armor suit. So I'm just going to set this to the side and we can kind of check out what we got. Uh, so we have some instructions here, which I will look at in a minute. Then, first thing here is the Steelbook Tricentennial Edition. This is a, a unique steelbook that comes with the Power Armor Edition. Of course, the game is included. There's some extra DLC stuff. And I'm not sure, but I did see somebody else share a picture of another steelbook. So I think some store might have been offering another pre-order bonus. But as I always say, I'm a fan of steelbooks, so that is pretty neat. Then the next thing here is our 24 collectible figures from your friends at Vault Tech. And this is a bag of various action figures. Kind of think classic like military figures, like cowboys and Indians sort of deal. Looks like it has a wide variety. I'm not opening this up just yet, but it looks like we got some mutants. We got some robots. We got some vault dwellers. So that is pretty neat. All right, so somehow I lost audio for the rest of this video, so I'm re-recording a piece of this anyways. So the next item here is the map from Fallout 76 of West Virginia. It's actually a pretty high quality map. They kind of changed the style of the map they were using, uh, a little bit more designed instead of the the like black and green outline text that they used to use, which, you know, I could go either way, but it's actually pretty nice. It looks, it's like embossed, uh, like the roadways and rivers are kind of like glossy and raised a little bit. So that's kind of cool that they did a little extra with the map there. Then the next thing here is a West Tech Warfare fully powered carrying bag for our power armor helmet. So if I need to travel and take the power armor helmet with me, well then look at that, I am in luck. Then, of course, the piece de resistance for this collector's edition is our T-51B power armor helmet. I'm sure many of us have seen this before in the games. This is one of the older style power armor suits. I already put the batteries in this, so that is pretty cool because it has some additional features. So besides just the, the pretty detailed design here, uh, it has some slight wear weathering on it, but... It has a fully functional headlamp, which is pretty cool. Then also it does a sound effect. And as you saw at the beginning of the video and will in a moment here, it also has a voice changer that can turn on and off. So that's pretty cool. The thing about this is it's actually wearable. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and put this on and we can see how it looks. So we got an adjustable strap here. I can't really see too well out of this thing. We got our light on. I don't know how the voice changer is gonna sound. Hello? Can you hear me? 
So yeah, so this is the T-51B Power Armor Helmet. Fully functional. Kind of smells like plastic in here, but hey, check it out. Pretty highly detailed, I will say. I can't really see how this looks on the camera, but hopefully it is showing up well. I'm not sure how great the voice changer is, but I will say this is pretty neat. Alright, oh, let me take this thing off. So, fully wearable power armor helmet. Oh, man. Yes, and let's give it another look-see here. Finely detailed. Yeah. And I am no stranger to Fallout Collector's Edition type things. Of course, with Fallout 4, I got the Pip-Boy Edition. I also got the Mini Nuke with the Fallout Anthology. And I also got one of the Collector's Editions for Fallout New Vegas. Unfortunately, I do not have the Fallout 3 Collector's Edition or any previous editions that they might be for the PC versions of the older games. But I am a huge fan of Fallout and I'm really looking forward to enjoying my time with this one. So I would be interested in hearing your thoughts about this collector's edition. I think it's pretty neat to actually get a fully functional power armor helmet. I was joking with some friends previously that I think they should slowly release more pieces of power armor with different versions of the game and then I could have a fully functional power armor suit at some point. I don't know. It's pretty silly, but it is what it is. So yeah, so let me know your thoughts. Then of course, as always, thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you next time on The Game Grinder.